Hi everyone, I'm Ruby Rose and today we're going to be making some sock snowmen. This is a very special occasion because I'm going to be joined with my sister, Rayleigh. Hi guys. So today we're going to be making some sock snowmen and these are really unique and cool so it's going to be really fun. So what you'll need are buttons, some pom-poms, some colourful pins, some socks. I think it's better to use long socks than ankle socks. You will also need a spoon, some scissors, some rice and some string. This is quite important because it ties the whole snowman together. So we're starting with our socks and our scissors and you can go first. We're going to cut underneath the heel in a straight line. Oh, can't do it! <laughs> if you're struggling to cut the sock, then it's best to get an adult to help you because they'll be very experienced with it. I've cut my piece and it's just there, that's about the size you want. And this is the piece we're going to be keeping in front of us for the minute. So what we're going to do next is we're going to put this little bit aside and then we're going to be getting a piece of string and we're going to be tying this at the top. You want to tie it on the section that you just cut and not on the pre-sewn section. Okay, so we're just tying these right now and you want to do a double knot just so it doesn't come undone. <laughs> it's easier if you open up the sock before you do it because it gets like that. Oh. It looks like a flower. Top tip. So the next step is to turn your sock inside out and add some rice to it. Okay, you ready? Yeah. So once you put a bit of rice in, it might go to the top, but you actually need to push it down and shape it. I think like an aubergine. <laughs> That's a snowman shape, isn't it? <laughs> so now we're going to tie the top of the snowman so the rice doesn't fall out. Now we're going to tie it around here to make it look more like a snowman. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to give our snowman a hat with the excess sock. We fold it over twice. So here's my first fold and here's my second one. Just place it on the snowman's head. Oh, we forgot some scarves. Mom! Thanks, Mom. Thank you. I chose a ribbon for the scarf and Ruby chose... An old fuzzy sock. Okay, so here are snowmen with scarves. I love your scarf. It looks so warm. Yours is so glittery. It's Thank very, you. very, very <laughs> cool. Okay, so now we're going to give our snowmen a face. We are going to use these pins and you can use whatever colour you want. <laughs> My lips are <laughs> really funny, <laughs> with purple eyes. And we're ready to add the nose. You could use a button if you like and glue it on, but we are going to use the pins. <laughs> our snowmen have faces. So the next step is to add our buttons to our snowmen. We're going to be using some glue dots for this. Oh, this one looks pretty cool. Look how cute these are, they're so cool and they have so much character. But we want to go that step further and customise the hats. Looks a bit like a bunny tail. I love these so much, they are so cute. If you like this video then stay tuned because there will be lots more videos like this on Disney Channel. For more like this, tune into Disney Channel. Meanwhile, click or tap to subscribe.